hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video all right so for today's video i'll be installing a bob wig and as you guys can see i already went off camera and did the ball cap method now the next thing that i'll be doing i'll be placing the glue right across my client hairline then i will blend it out evenly and allow it to dry Alright, so as you guys can see that I'm now spreading the glue across the hairline and as you guys already know, I use three layers of glue for each install. Alright guys, so after all three layers of glue are completely dried, I'm now applying the wig on the client's head. And as you guys know, I always start from the middle, I secure the middle, then I move on to the sides. Okay, so this wig was very big, it was much bigger than my client's um, head size. So I had to cut it a little bit shorter, and then I had to stretch each side so that there is no gathering in the center. Alright guys, so it is very important to do the measurements before you, start, before you start applying glue or anything. So what I normally do is I normally measure the cap on my client's head first, as I said before I start applying any glue or anything. And then I would outline exactly where I need to put the glue. Because once you cut off the excess lace, you don't need any glue showing at the front. After I finish placing down the wig, I'm just going to go through with the comb and I'll just comb that lace into the glue. Alright, so this is how I secure the lace each time. I always use the comb to comb right across the hairline. Guys, you want to ensure to get the wig to stick into the glue before you start using the heat. So, I normally use my comb, then I just go through my finger across, just to press in, then I'll use my blow dryer on medium heat to go across the hairline, to melt that lace into the glue. Alright, so after I finish securing the lace, I'm just going to go through with the shade of foundation that matches my client's skin. And you guys know that I'm, I use Ruby Kiss, and I'm just going to go through from side to side to ensure that it is properly covered before I start the melting process. Now I'm just going in with my scissors to cut the excess lace off the wig and I'm just making sure that I cut exactly where the glue begins. Guys, some section of the wig was not properly covered with glue, so I'm just going in with my rat tail comb to fill out the empty spaces. I'll be applying three layers, just the same, ensuring that each layer is completely dry before I go through with the second layer. Alright guys, so even though I did my measurement, it is, it is clear that there is still some part of the lace that didn't get any glue, but for me it is better to go through and refill instead of having the glue all over the client's forehead. Thank you. 
after all three layers are completed and then went through with the blow dryer on medium heat just the same to secure the edges of the lace then I'll just go through with my ebbing or um, melting spray to spread it right across the hairline then I'll tile the hairline down and then I'll place my client under the dryer for 15 minutes to have it dry Alright, so after 15 minutes and I had removed my client from under the dryer, I'm just I'm now going through with my hot comb and I'm just hot combing the hairline before I move on to the baby hair. Alright, so after I finish hot combing the hair, I'm now going to go through with my scissors to cut the baby hair to the desired length that my client needs. Now I'll be using my pencil curler just to curl the baby hair in the direction that I'll be making them. Whenever I use the curler to curl the hair before I start the baby hairs, it just allows the hair to fall in place. Now I'll be placing my gel on the baby hairs and I'll just use my rat tail comb to form them in the shape that I need. Alright guys, so as you guys can see how easily the curler allowed the side burns to form. Just look how simple and easy that was. After I finished each size of the baby hair, I then went through with the blow dryer on medium heat to dry those baby hairs so that it can secure. Now I am moving on to the next side and I'll just take the same step as I did for the first side. Guys, I can honestly say that this part is my favorite part because this is where you get to see the beauty of the style. So 
after I finished making the baby ears, I did went, went ahead with the blow dryer on medium heat just to dry them. Then I went off camera and I did flat iron my clients here. Look how sleek that hair is. Now I'm just using my scissors just to straighten up the pop cut. Guys, I can honestly say that I love to see a bob cut right on the shoulder because that is where you see the true beauty of the style. After I finished all the cutting and the flat ironing, I'm just going through with the shade of my client's skin tone just to highlight the part. Also, I'm using the same shade just to blend right across my client hairline. Alright, so after all that is completed, I'm just going through one more time with my hot comb just to have all those here laid flat and in place. And after I'm finished with the hot comb, I'm just using my rat tail comb just to go through and comb all those here in place. Alright guys, so I can honestly say that bobs are one of my favorite style to do. I love installing bob wigs because it is very easy. Alright, so we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this install. And I'll see you guys in another video. You can let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you.